Some Libyans already feel let down by their new government. A private hospital in Amman with Libyan patients angry at the National Transitional Council. They've made the long trip to Jordan for medical treatment, only to find that hospitals can't admit them. They accuse their government, which is paying their medical bills, of failing to coordinate with the Jordanian authorities regarding patient arrivals. I came here with my daughter for treatment. The Libyan government is supposedly paying for it. Why am I being treated so badly? We Libyans are an exhausted people. We're all tired from the war. The NTC has a committee of doctors and accountants in Amman to assist the Libyan patients. But frustrated patients say they are nowhere to be seen and they can't reach them by phone either. The no-fly zone imposed on Libya for seven months led to a colossal influx of Libyan patients to Jordan as soon as it was lifted. Among them are injured rebels. Abdus Salam al-Dibbi was seriously wounded in Sirt in a rocket attack by Gaddafi's army. I had a bone implant as well as new veins and arteries constructed in my legs. I'm also having another operation to repair my skin from burns. Even Libyan children weren't spared from the violence. 15,000 Libyans are currently receiving treatment in Jordan's private hospitals while their country struggles to rebuild itself. The number of Libyans coming to Jordan for medical treatment is overwhelming. That's why this hospital has decided to offer only half of its beds to Libyan patients. The other half is reserved for Jordanian patients who have recently expressed anger over a lack of available medical facilities. Hospital officials here say the NTC is trying to improve communications between Jordanian hospitals and the Libyan government. But more needs to be done. At the moment, they are still lacking behind and paying the debts for the hospitals. So most of the hospitals, they have now a lot of money uh, that need to be paid by the Libyan government. Though the Gaddafi regime has been brought down, the crisis of Libyan patients in Jordan is just one example of the long way the country has to go to rebuild Libya. Nisreen al-Shamayli al-Jazeera, Amman.